Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Sefer Chavetz Chaim on the laws of Lashon Hara. We're in Klal Bays in the second chapter, and we are still talking about this heter, which seems to be impossible to rely upon, almost, says the Chavetz Chaim, of the Apet Lasa of three people being privy to the words of derogative information that you are sharing. And he writes like this, In light of all the things that we have already described with Hashem's help in the principle of Apitlosa of the three people, a person has to be careful. When you have like the Chashuva, you have the important members of the city that are sitting together. And they are deciding on communal matters for the city. They have matters that are concerned, property assessments or the like, which means that they are making some decisions that are going to have impact on the community itself. And sometimes it'll be it'll be a chayv, it'll be detrimental to one party, and it'll be beneficial to somebody else. And therefore, the decision that they're making, someone's going to be impacted negatively. And this group of trustees, this group of the chashuvei the important members of the city, they really they don't agree exactly on what they should do. So they take a vote. And they decide they're going to go after the major, the majority rule. When they leave the conference room over there. They all have to be very careful. They can not reveal what their own personal view was, or somebody else's view. Meaning, they can say, Really, I wanted to be make, I wanted to be lenient when I was voting over here. Let's say for a person, the individual, let's call him Shimon, in this particular matter. I was going to, I was, my opinion was something that was going to benefit him. But they over they overtook me with their vote. However, all my friends over here in the voting, they prevailed. And I have no choice. I have to go after their view. So what do you see over here? He's making things sound bad, meaning really... He was willing to go lenient. The Rav, the majority over here, they were being machmer, which is causing a loss, let's say, to Shimon. So it's not my fault, he says. Says the Chavaz Haim, Notwithstanding, if this group of very chashiv, prominent people make a resolve amongst them from the beginning, when they leave the conference room, they're not going to reveal what took place over there. And they're not going to relate this information to the person that is being negatively impacted by their decision. Certainly it's asugamo, you're not allowed to say such a thing. But even if stam, there was no request to keep things confidential. And so too, he had no intention to go and reveal it publicly. But by mistake, he told it over to a person. In a way that was able to imply from his language, he doesn't really hold of the ruling of these of these great people. Um, However, he just can't argue with them because they overpowered him. And who, even in that case, there's an Isogomer, you're not allowed to repeat over such a thing that I wanted to be Makal, I wanted to be lenient and help Shimon over here, but they overpowered me. Well, according to the opinion of the Dasa Katana, one of the commentaries on the Rambam, Afilim Yisapristam. Even if the person over here was involved in the decision making, says says that his initial opinion was to to be nice and generous to Shimon, 
And then we had to take a vote and we go after the majority rules. Meaning, even if it's just in passing he's saying this, even that is going to be Asr. It doesn't matter whether he's disclosing this information on his own accord or maybe his friends say, No, what happened in there? Plenty, plenty, and they say, how could such an unfair decision take place with, the, with you? Because, and so he wants to defend himself. No, no, no you should know. I was, gonna, I was not going to give that decision. Nevertheless, in any case, you cannot place the blame on somebody else and absolve yourself. Even if it's true, all of that says the Chavetz Chaim is Asr to say over to somebody else. So once again, says the Chavetz Chaim, there's no, not only there's no heter of Apei Tlos over here of the three, there's no heter at all in such a case to tell over what took place behind closed doors because someone is going to walk out, so someone is going to end off over here of having Lashon Hara spoken about them. Have a wonderful day.